glad you're here. Come on in, pull up a chair and have a seat. Come on in, come on in. special guest today i can't wait to introduce you to him it's my buddy uh phil waldrop and uh he's written a new book stop chasing happy have you ever done that have you ever chased happy hello katherine anderson and diane and rachel shelton hey donna latham james reeves connie rich naomi martha eleanor all y'all get on in here and have a seat looks like we got a little bit of a a little bit of a delay or something. Oh, you know what? I'm broadcasting in 4K. That's right, 4K. If you're watching on YouTube, you can watch this in 4K. I don't think Facebook allows you to watch in 4K. But uh, listen, share it. If you're watching, share, share, share. Sharing is caring. If you're on Facebook, please hit the notification button so you'll be notified when I go live. See, I was supposed to go live today at 1130. But uh, we had a little technical difficulty, and I had to get that fixed, and now we're, we're up and running. All right, it is 2.11 p.m. Central Time. I don't know where you are all over the world, but I'm glad you're here with us. We're going to sing a little bit after I interview my good friend, Mr. Oh, let me show you the book first. Here's the book. Look, a little picture of the book. And here is my buddy. Phil Waldrop. Hello, Phil. Oh, hello, Mark. I tell you, I am just <laughs> super excited to be on here with you. First of all, I'm really amazed at that song. I don't think I've heard that song before. Well, I wrote it. Jimmy Yeary wrote the music, and I wrote the words just to, as a welcome song, because that's what we do every day when I go live on Just Whenever, is just... Yeah, and I, we, Go ahead. And I... I'm I'm really impressed too with that beautiful waterfall behind you. Isn't Are you going to tell me that's at your house? That is at my house on my green screen. <laughs> see, I'll show you. That way, I don't have to make the bed. See. <laughs> I oh, I love it. it. I love it. You are just a technological wonder. You well, just you really are. People. I can't afford people. You got people. <laughs> oh, I have people all around me. Their job is just to make me look good. My job is <laughs> to come in and take the credit. And it's well, a great job to have. So, Well, for yeah. those of you who do not know who Phil Waldrop is, he's got an incredible ministry. And they have things called uh, Women of Joy. You've heard of mm -hmm. that? For women, uh, obviously. And I've performed there several times and look forward to it every time. It's an incredible audience. There's like 6,000 of them there. Mm -hmm. And then he has celebrators for seniors. Mm -hmm. And if you're not familiar with his uh, events that he puts on, and he brings in all these famous people. Uh, Lorraine, you were talking about Lorraine. What was her last name, Lorraine? Leanne Morgan oh, was just Leanne, with us. Yeah, Leanne, Leanne, Leanne. Leanne Morgan was just with us. Yeah. Yeah. Y'all know who she is. If you don't, find her on YouTube. She is hysterical. Leanne Morgan. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have her on the show as soon as I can. But, uh, Phil, tell us about your new book. Well, I got to tell you, Mark, I'm so excited about this book that I, I really just poured my heart into. Because, you know, you know, everywhere you go, everywhere I go, people would say to me, I just want to be happy. And, and I start talking to some of these people 
and life has been good to them. I mean, they've got a good family. They got, a, you know, they're healthy. They got a good job. And I look at them and say, why aren't you happy? And I begin to read these articles. I'm not a big reader of articles, but there's a lot of articles about Americans today are unhappier than they've ever been. And I'm like, why are we so unhappy? Because I mean, I mean, when I was a kid growing up, we had three television channels. Right now, I have over five hundred television channels, and I still can't find anything to watch. Right, you know, we have we have the internet, we have Facebook, and yet we're still bored and we're still unhappy. So I I found myself thinking, why is that true? And every single person I've ever met that was unhappy would say to me, "I just want to be happy." And then the people that I met in my life, I mean, people that nobody else will ever know, just plain, ordinary, everyday people who are so happy, who get up every morning excited because it's a new day. And I started talking to those people and I wanted to find out, why are you so happy? (laughs) You know, because you're obviously not trying to be happy, but you are happy. And here's what I discovered. What? People who are just trying to be happy never get to be happy. But people who have come to understand that if they have a relationship with the Lord, God has uniquely gifted every person to do something. Mm. And when we find what that something is and we do it, every day is a delight and a joy and every day you have happiness and you don't have to spend your life looking for it. So you don't have to chase after happy. Just pursue your purpose and do it. And when right. you do, happiness results. Well, what would you tell someone, I'm still looking for my purpose, and they're 65? Well, here's what I find a lot of times when people do that. We keep wanting to tell the Lord what our purpose is. You know, when I was young, I always told the Lord I wanted to be a singer. <laughs> well, you know, you've heard me sing. That's not my <laughs> purpose. Because I, I believe when the Lord gave us our DNA— I believe he took what he wanted us to do and he combined that with a passion and he puts it inside of us. And the question I always tell people, we think of a purpose as doing something big, preaching, singing, performing. Right. But you know, my mother found her purpose. For 51 years, my mother worked in the nursery at her church. Mm -hmm. That was the passion of her life. You know, uh, in reality... I got to tell you, nobody applauded my mother until she got very sick before she went to be with the Lord. And one Sunday, she didn't keep the nursery and nobody was there. They took all those babies and all those little kids and they put them in that little country auditorium. And for the first time in 51 years, everybody appreciated my mom. Exactly. You don't always get the applaud. You know, when, when you're performing... There's so many people behind the scenes, sound people and technological people mm. that that are doing what is their passion to do so that we mm-hmm. can do what we're called to do. Right. So it's not always you get to applaud, but I tell people start with what is it you do where you lose all sense of time? And I mean something productive. I don't mean you sit around and play video games all day. That's not very productive. Right. But when you're doing something productive and you do it and man, time just flies by that's a good chance you're doing something that is your passion. Mm -hmm. I tell people, if you're really having problems finding your purpose, look at what you do that God blesses. You know, we never started out, you know, I was speaking in churches. I never thought about doing conferences. But then one day a friend of mine basically, Mm -hmm. I want to say, forced me to do my first one. It was a youth conference that we did. Yeah. And all of a sudden, I'm like, wow, I like this. And I think that's another thing. And another thing is, ask your friends sometimes, what is it that I do that you think I'm really good at? Mm -hmm. You know, just what is it that I do that, you know, and I'll give you an example from my own life. I asked some friends that one day, and I, boy, I was ready to hear this. Oh, you're a great preacher. You're a great writer. But they didn't say that. They didn't. I guess they maybe already thought I thought that. I don't know. But they didn't say that. You know what they said to me? They said, Phil you have this incredible gift to look at people and encourage them. And I'm like, well, I don't, I thought everybody did that. I thought everybody was trying to encourage other people. They said, no, that's something you're uniquely gifted to do. And that's why now years later, 
everything we do from our conferences, Women of Joy, Celebrators, other events we do, all of those events are designed to encourage people. Because I found, you know what? That's my purpose, to encourage the body of Christ. That's my passion. And that's How we do that purpose. may look different. But yeah. hey, well, but that's, that's what God called us to do. You've obviously done that well. I mean, I'm amazed that um, that, that many people show up. I mean, that is, <laughs> th these are huge crowds that you have mm -hmm. at your conferences. Uh, have you seen that grow over the years, or were they always huge? No, they didn't start out huge, and I'm glad. Because, yeah. you know, we've learned a lot, a lot from experience. And in the early days, you know, we were at a place in Alabama called Shockle Springs Conference Center. You've been there. Mm -hmm. And we would have five or 600 people. And I thought that was huge. Right. But there was a lot of things we had to learn from experience that God kind of kind of kept us from just booming right. at that time till we learned a lot about working with people. You know, early days we did things that, that now I look back and think, why in the world did we worry about that? And the things right. we did not worry about, <laughs> we should have worried about. And so now they've just grown, and it's all just about seeing people be what God wants them to be. Well, you do that so well. Okay, where can people get this book? Hey, there's a, well, they can, of course, get it at Amazon or Barnes & Noble, anywhere they get other books. But there's also a special website called StopChasingHappy.com. Okay. StopChasingHappy.com. That'll tell you about the book and our ministry, too. Well, good. I'll put that in the show notes. Well, Phil, thank you so much. We're going to get to singing now. And oh, I'm that so sounds glad. good. And you don't want me you don't want me to stick around for that. Like I said, that's not <laughs> well, my you're deal. Welcome. Hey, you're I love welcome. you, Mark. You're a great friend. Hang in there and keep encouraging people. All right, my brother. God bless you. Take care. That is a great man right there. I love Phil Waldrop. And uh you need to go to stop. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Am I am I muted? Hold on. Am I no I'm not. Uh you need to go to stop chasinghappy.com and read more about that book. I am so glad you're here, Kathy, Nissa, Erica, Susan, Ken Davis. Is that here from your mom and his maiden name is Walter. Oh, I see. All of you tuning in. All right, y'all ready to sing? It's time to sit up straight and sing. Let me get my other earplugs in so I can hear well. <clears throat> you know, Pawpaw's getting old. <laughs> I know y'all hate for me to say that. I hear from you. Quit saying you're old. I'm older than you. Well, you know, somebody had to be. All right, now listen, here we go. We're going to start off today with, what have I got lined up? Oh, one of the most requested, Eastern Gate. Here it is. I will. 
How's it sound out there? I, I think it's uh, what happened this morning. Let me tell y'all what happened. It's no big deal. I just forgot. I forgot <clears throat> that the guys were coming this morning from Best Buy to put a, a or an extender, maybe it is, on the uh, on my Wi-Fi. So all that was going on, and I couldn't go live at eleven thirty, but I'd forgotten. So I told y'all I'd be here at eleven thirty anyway. So that happened. And um, and they got it fixed. Everything's back to normal. We're broadcasting in 4K for the first time ever. Uh, I hope it's coming through okay. But 4K is pretty big. That's a pretty big deal, I think. Um, and they say, Naomi says it sounds good. Carol Calloway says, great. Kathy Russell says it sounds great. So good, we'll keep going. All right, y'all want to sing this other one from my brand new CD? Sit up straight and sing, on which we are not even sitting up straight on the cover. Let me show you. Here's the cover. Well, I got so much attached to it. Oh, my gum. Oh, Y'all wonder where my gum goes? Here it is. <laughs> it's stuck on the back of the CD. Uh, that's gross. Anyway, uh, sit up straight and sing is me and Kevin Williams. In fact, before we do that, here's a brand new commercial from Austin. What? Hi, my name is Austin, and we have a sign in news. Mark has two CDs. One, one that stand up straight and sing with Mark Lowry and Calvin Will. One is Sip Christmas. One is Christmas. And they both have two CDs of them. One of Kevin playing the guitar, and one of Mark singing. And they're both twenty dollars. So thank you for watching this video of Neil Wayne in my unicorn outfit with a rainbow tail. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Bye. <laughs> Isn't she adorable? Thank you for watching my video in my unicorn outfit. I love her. She believes in unicorns. She had a unicorn birthday. But anyway, the CDs, you get two CDs uh, in the package, one of Kevin playing by himself so you can sing by yourself or use it as a soundtrack in church. Or, and the other one is me singing with Kevin, and then you can sing harmony. I, we got it all figured out. And then in the middle, you get a little hymnal. Isn't that cute? Look at that little hymnal. Is it going to focus? Yeah. That's a sit up straight and sing hymnal. And then when you open it up, it's got uh, all the song, the words to the song, so you can get out your bifocals and read along and sing along. Let's do this one. You want to? I love this song. Tis so sweet. Uh-oh. Wrong words are up there. Sorry, guys. Watch me fix this real quick. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. Here you go, here's the words you know, bring it down to size. I uh, got a thousand and eleven of you watching me make this mistake, but I got it right now. Here we go. <laughs>
Oh, well, it's live, y'all. And it's in 4K today. May never be again because I think it's a little choppy. I'm not sure. Hey, on YouTube is a little low, is it? Well, oh my goodness, let me turn it back up. Is that better? Is that better? That, that's wide open. But then if I sing, it's going to blare. Oh, well, we'll just see, won't we? Uh, you should have a podcast, Mark. Erica, what do you think this is? Hold on. Let me get that bigger. Uh, thank you, Erica Lauren Horn Mason. Uh, will you come back to Dallas area anytime soon? I don't know. You have to go to marklowry.com slash tour. And that, that's where I go to find out where I'm going to be. Can you believe that? Well, I can't memorize all that stuff. That's why, you know what? I decided I want, did I tell y'all? I decided I'm not going to be in any more movies. I was only in one, but that was enough. And I enjoyed it. Don't think I didn't enjoy it, but I think I figured out why. Why well, I don't want to do it again. It's because you got to memorize somebody else's lines. Uh, that's boring. That's a waste of minutes that I could be spending saying my own lines that I make up in my head. You know? In fact, there was a movie recently they were asking me to be a part of that, um, that I would get to be myself and just make up my own lines, and I didn't want to do that. I just, you know what? I don't want to do it. I'm not, no, I ain't no movie star. And really never have any desire to be one. But I did it that one time, you know, that one moment I went and did that one movie. Well, they came to Houston, and they filmed it here. I didn't even have to leave town, so that was very attractive, you know, to not have to leave the, uh, the area. <clears throat> but, but it took all day. And I had trouble memorizing the lines. I think it's because if it isn't saying something that I'm going to want to keep forever in my brain, I just don't want to go to the trouble of memorizing it. Isn't that weird? Anyway, so that's that. But the movie's still coming out. I'll let y'all know uh, when it does come out. What are y'all talking about? Gotta have a great rest of your day. Thank you, Chevy Boss. Hello, Janice and... It says, I have a delayed voice, GMA Brewer says. The new 4K is great, Mike Norman says. Isn't that something, Mike? It, look, it looks a little choppy to me. Maybe my computer can't handle it. But it may be broadcasting that way, and so good. I'll, I'll check it out when I get off the air. But thank you all for tuning in today and meeting my friend Phil Waldrop. Now, let me tell you, Thursday, what is today? Today is Wednesday, so that's tomorrow. Okay, tomorrow, Bill Gaither will be my guest. And you know what we're gonna do? I, I, the day after the big weekend last weekend, Bill and I spent an hour and a half, and a half going through every moment. Well, we're gonna do that with you. It was so much fun. That he, he called me this morning and he, want, he said he wanted to do this. Which, of course, I'm not going to tell Bill Gaither no, but he wants to be on my show right here in front of this stream. Hello, Deborah Hope Lazaro. Glad, oh, Deanna Hurt. Glad I found you. Was at Bible study. Glad you came to Tulsa. Well, thank you, Deanna. I appreciate that. I, we had such a good time in Tulsa. And tomorrow, uh, I think it's going to be. I think, now don't hold me to this, 1 p.m. Central tomorrow is, I think, what he told me. 2 p.m. his time, 1 p.m. my time. Bill Gaither and I will be live right here in 4K if it turned out good. I'm going to see when I get back and when I get off the air. Okay, let's sing another song you want to. How about this one? Heaven came down and glory filled my soul, filled my soul. <laughs> Oh, what a wonderful, wonderful day, day I will never forget. After I'd wandered in darkness away, Jesus the Savior I met. Oh, what a tender, compassionate friend, he met the need of my heart. Shadows dispelling with joy I am telling, he made all the darkness depart. 
heaven came down and glory filled my soul. When at the cross the Savior made me whole, my sins were washed away and my night was turned to day. shining huh we you'll we've no less days to sing god's praise than when we first begun that's some good writing there um, i ran out of iced tea i'm down to chewing ice now i know y'all don't like that <laughs> boy it's good though it's that crunchy ice at sonic 
Mm, I love that ice. Uh, what else can we talk about? Uh, what, I agree with you about memorizing lines. Why waste your God-given talent? <laughs> oh, wait, that didn't show up right. Uh-uh. Well, please, y'all. Please, please, please. What'd she say? Here it is. I want you to see this. I agree with you about memorizing lines. You must be in England somewhere because we spell memorizing with a Z over here. But it makes sense, memorizing lines. What'd she say? She didn't finish. Uh-huh. <laughs> Why well, wish you could give me some of these? Uh, it ain't broke, Mark. Oh, that was nice of you, Martha Borman. If you are in England, please go eat some fish and chips for me today. I love your fish and chips over there in England, and I love the curry. I love Indian food in England. If you don't know this, they invented the Indian food in England. I heard. No, they probably didn't invent it, but they mastered it, and they're. That's the first place I ever had Indian food. And I love it to this day. I love Indian food. Okay, what else y'all talking about? Let me see if y'all want to sing something else before we go. I always like to let y'all pick the last song. If I know it. Can you sing What a Wonderful World? No, I can't because the copyright infringement is so harsh. They won't even share. They shut you down. They're just, I, I need to turn my speaking. My speaking voice is so much softer. I'm asking for continue. All right, Andrea guy, pray for Andrea's grandson. I didn't get, it went by too fast. I had no idea you sing so low. I had no idea either, Linda Green. Uh, Linda Glenn, I should say. Uh, it just developed as I've aged. My, I was a baritone and I'm headed towards the basement. Okay, victory in Jesus, that what you want, Jennifer Martin? That's what you'll get. Victory in Jesus, my Savior, forever. Uh-uh, yeah, that's it. I heard an old, old story How a Savior came from glory How he gave his life on Calvary To save a wretch like me to victory you know may not feel like it sometimes punched to victory <laughs> my little cousin used to say he punched me to victory well you know what your little cousin's right for some of us it takes a good punching doesn't it you got to hit bottom before you realize Jesus was there all the time you just could you had to get all the junk out of the way so you could see him that's what the bottom is when you hit the bottom and you can't make somebody hit bottom. They got to fall and hit it all by themselves. And then you're down there on the bottom. 
and you have nothing but Jesus to see because it hurts so bad. The bottom is a horrible place to go, but some people have to go, so maybe your cousin's right. He punched me to victory. He, well, I used to think, remember that song, Ver, or you may not, our church sang it. Verily, verily, I say unto you, verily, verily, message ever true. He that believeth on the Son hath everlasting life. Anyway, I thought they were saying, Beverly, Beverly, I say, I thought they were singing to my mother. Beverly, Beverly, I say unto you, Beverly, Beverly. Hey, it says, uh, please, wait, 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 wait. Your volume keeps going down. Well, I have to turn it down when I sing because I'm too loud. Then I forget to turn it up uh, when um, when we go live. I mean, when I come back from singing. I don't want to die. Love when you sing that. You're, you're Oh, I don't want to die? Oh, are you thinking of... Uh, 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 everybody wants to go to heaven, but nobody wants to die. That Loretta Lynn song I did on, on an album. Okay, we did Victory in G. Hey, listen, tomorrow now, Thursday, that's tomorrow, unless I'm mistaken. No, because Bill's got that big video premiere on Friday. You don't want to miss that. If you, uh, let me see if I got that email. I can show you that picture. Friday at 10 a.m. I think I may join them uh, on the chat. Uh, Celeste, here it is. Hold on. Let that download. Why is that taking so long? There it is. Look at here, y'all. There it is. Join us for the sweet, beautiful land, joy of heaven. Uh, YouTube premiere. And that is Friday, October 22nd at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And so you don't want to miss that. But tomorrow, Bill and I are going to sit and talk about that video that we'll watch in the morning on Friday. But tomorrow, we're going to, at 1, did he say 2 o'clock? 2 o'clock my time? Or 1 o'clock my time? 1 o'clock my time, I think. 2 o'clock Eastern Time. We're going to sit down and reminisce about the entire weekend last weekend. We're two old men sitting on the back porch talking about the good old weekend or the good old days. <laughs> All right, now, if you want my new CD, don't run over. I mean, do, do run over to MarkLowry.com, and Danny will ship you out one today. That way you can sing these songs we sing on Just Whenever. We can sing them all day long and all night with me or without me. We give you options. And they're $20 each. $20 for the Christmas one. They were $15. I hope you ordered yours when they were $15. Because when, they was just, when it was just released last month or a week ago, whenever it was, uh, they were $15. Now they're $20. So for $40, you can get both these. Unless you wait long enough, they'll go on sale again. <laughs> you know it will. Okay, y'all, I love you so much. I thank you so much for tuning in. There's been 1,041 of you watch me right now. And I want you to know I, I pray that the sun will shine on your back and that God will put his hand on your shoulder and walk with you the rest of the day. And you'll never be lonely again. Never again. For I have opened my heart door to him. So I'll brush away the tears and forget my foolish fears. I'll never be lonely again. Never again. All right, see you tomorrow. Bye. See if I can find my ending. Why do I always do this? Huh. Well, it's here somewhere. Unless I deleted it, which evidently I did. So, bye.